All right, the Samsung monitor box arrived. I just cut this open. Excited to check it out. The 32 inch gaming monitor for the insiders. It's a Samsung campaign, monitor campaign. I chose to test out the 32 inch gaming monitor. This is what the box looks like inside the other box. This is how it came. We're going to have to open that up next. This is Samsung Gaming Monitor. Okay, I just cut this box open. I haven't opened it up yet. You can check out the Samsung Gaming Monitor. <clears throat> so it's 32 inch class, but it's really 31.5 inch diagonal. Gaming Monitor. Curved screen, 144 refresh rate. I mean, 144 hertz refresh rate. It's WQHD, which means it's a 1440p monitor. 2K monitor is another name for that, and this is how it comes packed. I take this up to my desk and assemble it. I'm gonna check that out as well. All right, I have the monitor out of the box. You can see it has a curve to it. 31 inches of monitor, 31.5 right there. All right, this is what came in a small box. I was inside the bigger monitor box. You have the power adapter here. Comes into a monitor with this end right here. Comes with uh, an HDMI cable. It doesn't come with display port cable, but HDMI cable is fine at this monitor. As you can see here, it shows that you get 600 megahertz with the HDMI 2 port for the pixel clock resolution using HDMI 2 you still get the 144 hertz and uh, 2560 by 1440 so using the HDMI cable on this monitor is the same as DisplayPort because this monitor doesn't have a FreeSync if it had FreeSync or G-Sync then you would have needed the DisplayPort cable but you don't need it so the cable it comes with is fine. Uh, what else did it come with? There's a piece of the stand I have to put together. This is the stand here. This piece is going to go into here. This looks like it's to the back of the monitor. Once you have the cables aligned and everything plugged in, it's the whole cover. So we're going to get all this put together. Okay, and around the back of the monitor, you can see that it has the visa holes on the back so if you wanted to mount this on an arm or on a wall or anything you can do that down in here is where the cables go you see the parts go under here the HDMI and display parts and also the DC input goes in there to, to power it and then you close that up with the other piece. Once you put your cables in, you close that up so it's not visible. And the stand is gonna go right here. So it's visa mountable. Let's see on that in the back. This is the older model that we're replacing. You can see how it measures next to the new 31.5 inch monitor at the top. And this was a 27 inch Samsung monitor at the bottom. This model down here is pretty old now from 2011. It wasn't working so I was glad to get this new Samsung. But that's the size difference right there. 31.5 to, to, to the old 27 inch one. Okay this is the stand, the bottom of the stand. To put the stand together you took the two pieces. You connect them there you can see that point right there where they connect and then you just screw two screws in the bottom and then it looks something like this when it's done it's a three point stand and it doesn't have any <clears throat> way to adjust height or anything like that on this stand but it's pretty sturdy it's made of plastic here it has some rubber feet on the bottom so it shouldn't slide around or anything like that See, that's the rubber feet. So now we're going to get the monitor connected to it. 
All right, the next step, so I had the first part of the stand put together, is to connect the stand to the monitor. And I did that right here. Just put it right in, snaps in, right at this point right here. It snaps in, there's no screw or anything to that part. And then we can put the HDMI Power cables in here. Have the HDMI cable right here. It says to use HDMI 2 for the best results, which is right there. Let's take this cable, push it in. And I'm going to tighten that up as soon as I take the camera out of my hand but that's basically how it goes and that step is done uh, here's one thing that I just saw in the manual it has this little jog button here that you can move around like a little controller a little knob here you can adjust the monitor there that's at the bottom underneath the monitor they call it the jog button see it right here in the manual Because it helps navigate the menu. So that's at the bottom underneath the monitor. That's pretty cool. Something else to mention about the stand is that it has cable, a little cable management here, you know. The cables go in there, they come down here, and on the stand, you know, you put them right in like this, and put them down into the desk over there. There are these holds the cables right here so they're not, you know, too much in the way or anything. And this is going to get closed up. Now that I have this on here, take the other part, the plastic cover, and it's going to cover that up. The cables come out like that. It's pretty clean. And they come down onto the cable management part and out. You're going to pull all this back, you know, tie it up at the end. To have the monitor in place in its final position. Yay, we got this it. is how the game games look on this Samsung monitor. The colors are vibrant. Everything looks awesome on this. You see here, everything looks bigger, of course, because it's a bigger monitor than what we had in its place before. We went from a 27 up to this 32 inch mon monitor. The angles, you can see here, I'll go off to an angle. And with the curve and everything, the colors still look great at an angle. I'm going almost like really parallel to the screen almost on the side. Up and down angle, you can still see the colors still are vibrant. It's really nice, this monitor. So you can expect if you game on this one, nice big screen with great colors. The brightness is awesome. The detail is great. Really great monitor overall. This is what the monitor looks like playing videos. This is a high quality video here. The colors are amazing. Sharpness is amazing. The size. <clears throat> 32 inches. It's like you're watching a TV right at your desk. And the curve on the screen makes it feel even more immersive when you're sitting there. But look at that. Look at the colors on the monitor. Hopefully you can see it well in the video. When you're sitting here, it's amazing. The detail and colors, this monitor is really great to sit there and watch videos. This is YouTube. You can see at the angle, you can still see the colors well. It's looking at an angle like this, I'm turning it. You can see how the monitor is turned. You still get the great colors. There's a VA panel. <clears throat> Other monitors that have TN panels, you don't get that. The cheaper models. But look at this. The color and detail on these videos. It's great. Way better than uh, 1080p. Of course, because this is 1440p. Even better. The colors, really great. Uh, IPS. There's another type of panel that a lot of people like, but the 
the the thing about that one is the dark blacks aren't as dark as on this 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 VA I'm really impressed because it gives you a great color they, they say IPS has a great color but the color on this I have another monitor in the house it's IPS and this matches up with it the colors are amazing on this they're bright they're vivid the angles are great and it gives you the deep blacks I don't know if there's any black here but I mean the blacks are really dark on this I mean on the video I don't know if you can see that but the colors are vibrant and the blacks are just how they should be very dark there's no glow a lot of times the IPS screens have glow in the corners see the corners of this monitor are fine there's no glow or anything in the corners I don't see any uh, downside to having this VA panel and the curve and everything everything about it I'm really impressed by it it exceeded my expecta expectations with this one